Uh, we had three boats uh, that came out here in the search and rescue mode, uh, along with the Coast Guard in our helicopter and their helicopter. Uh, that search and rescue has been going on through the night. Uh, it appears that they had eight people on the rig, along with additional support personnel on a tug uh, and boat that were attached to the rig at the time. Uh, eight people uh, were, that were on the rig. Seven of them were transported to the hospital last night in various conditions, some from critical, some that have already been released. Uh, one is still unaccounted for. Uh, the search and rescue began immediately uh, with Coast Guard and the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office. Uh, we have been out there overnight. We got out, you know, first thing this morning, continuing to do search patterns from, from that. Uh, we have uh, assessed the rig this morning in order to make sure that any environmental concerns. Uh, does not appear any oil is leaking into the water, the bottom of the rig. We have uh, a 33 foot and a 27 foot safe boat uh, that allow us to maneuver in these five foot seas. Uh, most of the smaller boats obviously cannot go out there today, uh, but it's important for us to be able to continue our investigation. So we're going to board, we're going to go back and board the rig and start our investigation with our crime scene division uh, and, and, and take care of those things. Uh, we're interviewing the victims that are obviously uh, still at the hospital. We'll, we'll talk to them over the next couple of days. Well, there is nothing actively leaking in the water. We're not talking about a, a deep water horizon type incident where oil is constantly leaking in the water. That is not there. Now, during that explosion last night, you know, there is byproducts of oil that obviously uh, can and probably did uh, get put into the water. Probably not a lot. Um, you know, did not, you didn't necessarily have any recognition of that. Uh, with this wind, it's probably going to push it to the south shore, uh, which is not far, and those crews will go out over the next couple of days to do the appropriate cleanup if necessary.